How do you train a Pembroke Welsh Corgi to walk on a leash? Walking a dog on a leash is an essential skill that every dog owner must teach their furry friend. A well-trained dog who can walk politely on a leash is not only a joy to be around, but also a safer companion. In this video, we will explore the proper techniques and strategies to train a Pembroke Welsh Corgi to walk on a leash. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi, with its short stature and long body, may present some unique challenges when it comes to leash training. However, with patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement, you can help your corgi become a pro at walking on a leash. Here are some steps to follow for successful leash training. 1. Start with basic obedience training. Before you embark on leash training, ensure that your Pembroke Welsh Corgi has a solid foundation in basic obedience commands such as sit, stay, and come. These commands will come in handy during leash training and create a better understanding and communication between you and your dog. 2. Introduce the leash gradually. Allow your corgi to get used to the sight and presence of the leash before attaching it to their collar. Leave the leash on the ground during playtime or mealtime so that they can investigate it and get comfortable with its presence. 3. Get the right equipment. Choosing the right leash and collar or harness is crucial for a comfortable and safe walking experience. For a Pembroke Welsh Corgi, a harness might be a better option as it distributes the pressure evenly and reduces strain on their sensitive neck and back. For positive reinforcement, reward-based training is the most effective way to teach your Corgi to walk on a leash. Use treats, praise, and affection to reward them for following your commands and walking nicely on the leash. Be consistent and lavish praise on your Corgi when they exhibit the desired behavior. 5. Start indoors. Begin training your corgi indoors in a quiet and familiar environment. Attach the leash to their harness or collar and let them drag it around while you supervise. This will help them get used to the feeling of the leash without any distractions. 6. Practice in the backyard. Once your corgi is comfortable with the leash indoors, move the training to a secure backyard or garden. Keep the training sessions short and gradually increase the duration as your corgi becomes more comfortable. Use treats and positive reinforcement to encourage them to walk beside you. 7. Introduce distractions gradually. As your corgi becomes more confident in the backyard, gradually introduce distractions such as toys or mild noises. This will prepare them for walking in more stimulating environments and teach them to focus on you during walks. 8. Take it to the streets. Once your corgi is consistently walking on a leash in the backyard, it's time to venture out into the real world. Start with quiet streets or parks with fewer distractions and gradually increase the difficulty level. Patience and consistency are key during this phase of training. 9. Be mindful of your corgi's energy levels. Walking a Pembroke Welsh corgi can be challenging due to their high energy levels. Ensure that your corgi receives enough exercise before leash training sessions to help them release any excess energy. This will make them more focused and receptive to training. 10. Seek professional help if needed. If you are struggling with leash training or your corgi is displaying stubborn behavior, don't hesitate to seek help from a professional dog trainer. They can provide guidance tailored specifically to your corgi's needs and help you overcome any challenges. In conclusion, training a Pembroke Welsh Corgi to walk on a leash requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. By following a step-by-step -step approach, you can help your Corgi become a well-behaved and enjoyable walking companion. Remember to create a positive and rewarding experience for your dog, and you'll soon enjoy peaceful walks and adventures together.